Well, Sharia law is basically the set of legislation, so to speak, to use the word legislation, that is under the, under the Islam, where in, in many countries they are actually setting up enclaves of their own, segregating themselves from society, and actually are carrying on their own set of laws within, yeah. and now they're trying to move those out into the general okay. population. I want to make sure I understood exactly what you thought it was, and, and I think the same Would that be one, a fair explanation? Does that, that seem reasonable to everybody? Okay. Um, the last time I looked, this is the United States of America, and we have our own laws. And whether you're here legally, illegally, visiting, working, uh, if you and I go visit another country and we don't abide by their laws, guess what happens to us? We get put in prison and whipped or killed. Uh, if you're going to be in this country, A, we ought to speak English, and we ought to use English in our schools, period. I, I don't need to dial one for Spanish when I call somebody. Um, and, and B, if you're here, just like all of us that are naturalized citizens or citizens that came here through another country, we abide by the law of this land. And because your law is different and you want to expand that and help us understand your beliefs, wrong country, wrong country. Go back to where you came from and you can live under those laws. So I'm, f I'm for <coughs> taking care and preserving and enacting and protecting our law and those that can't follow that simple request will be punished to the, to the limit of the law or sent back to their beautiful homeland that they left. Thank you. Kurt, do you want to come on in now? Sure. I mean, is, is he the heavy? Is he, is, is he the guy that's going to hit me or something? Yeah, no. <laughs> he went to the restroom and now okay. he's stuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, second question. State climate regulations. Many regulations were added uh, during the Chris administration that have added tremendous costs and created long delays in new building projects and all manner of maintenance, such as found in the PinellasCounty.org website. Uh, and what we did yesterday is we just pulled off one, one little page off of PinellasCounty.org. Okay. And if you look on PinellasCounty.org, you'll see all through green, sustainability, all types of things that have been a, a, an offshoot of the, mm -hmm. of the global warming um, ideas. And all of that, of course, has created a much new regulation that we're talking about here, such as housing elements shall consist of standards, plans, and principles to be followed in energy efficiency in the design and construction of new housing and the use of renewable energy resources. Or all county buildings shall be constructed to meet the LEED, Green Globes, FGBC, mm -hmm. or other green building rating systems. And it goes on and on and on. You get the drift. So the question is, will you fight to repeal burdensome EPA-based climate regulations crippling Florida today and be instrumental in creating no more? Yes. Uh, I think, you know, I think any of us as an individual, if we want to go to that extreme and build a home that we're going to live in, that's fine. Good for you. Knock yourself out. But to mandate to everybody else, and especially to our governments, that you have to build to some level that to me is still unproven, untested, and, and un unsubstantiated. Um, our goal in the last year and continuing this year in the Florida legislature is removing statutes from the books, not putting more in. We're making those volumes smaller. And as an incentive to do that uh, in the Florida House, we're limited to six bills a year. In the Florida House, to incent us to, to remove regulation for every repealer law that we file, we get an extra bill slot for something else we want to oh, do. Oh, wow. So we're making those volumes smaller, not larger. Uh, it's time to be get, that's another way of get out of people's business. We kind of want zero population growth, though. We want it to go down. Well, I don't know. When it comes to bills. I don't know. We got a lot of inventory out there that we could, there's available for people to scarf up. Uh, number three. Medicaid personal care contracts, as introduced by Representative Larry Ahern last year and bringing back again this year. 
Do you support stiff reform of personal care contracts, which are being used by attorneys and families as loopholes for Title 19 Medicaid eligibility for long-term care benefits to pay for like nursing homes and, and waivers? Medicaid is, is eating our lunch in Florida. Um, it's consumed uh, one-third almost of the entire Florida budget. If the federal government ever changed our Medicaid match formula, we're toast. We're done. We can't do it. So uh, we realize that we have to reform Medicaid uh, substantially. And, and A, you've got to eliminate fraud, because in this state, fraud is the number one Medicaid abuser there is. You know, we've got 20,000 people on waiting lists trying to get some level of assistance. Um, 20,000. Most of them are severely disabled, uh, developmentally disabled. If, if we don't bring Medicare, Medicaid under control, this state is going to go under directly because of what Medicaid is doing to our state. So the fraud is rampant. The uh, eligibility needs to be tightened up. Those that really need it, uh, let's make sure that they get what they need, nothing more. Um, and, and if we don't stay vigilant on that initiative, this state's gonna be spending every nickel that we have on health care, And we can't afford to do that at the expense of education and, and everything else. Yeah. And this, of course, has got to do with people that are hiding their assets to get eligible for nursing homes. Exactly. Uh, it happens every, that's part of the fraud. Okay. Um, Just want to make sure I, I don't think maybe that was clear in the question. Uh, do you support a ban on third trimester abortion? Yes. Where do you get your news? I get my news um, <coughs> from a variety of places, including the favorite newspaper of this county, the lovely St. Pete Times. <laughs> because that way I at least get that angle out of the way early. <laughs> and then you can go seek out the truth. <laughs> so you're never confused. Um, you know, the St. Pete Times and the Miami Herald are, are really the only news organization that has a, a Tallahassee presence. So we have to deal with them up there every day. And you, you know, you read them, you hear about what's on the blog, so you read them and you, you see what they write. And, and it's amazing. Sometimes I'll read an article by one of their reporters, Steve Bosque in particular, and uh, Mark Caputo and Alex Leary, who are their Tallahassee beat reporters. And I read that and it's like, I was in the wrong meeting. I didn't understand one thing. That, they were in a different building than me. So uh, I watch TV in the evening. I try to, to see what they say on the news. St. Pete Times, uh, some computer. Um, and sometimes I just get it by word of mouth. Mm -hmm. What channel do you watch? I watch them all. I watch Fox News. I watch uh, the, the the network stations occasionally. Bay News Nine. I try to. I try to. to sp I don't watch CNN. Um, I I can't do that yet. So. Okay. And Who Tallahassee, is? We always make sure that that Fox News is on the the TV in in our area. So. And what's the name of the newspaper in Tallahassee? The Tallahassee <laughs> starts with a D. Democrat. Yeah. <laughs> <Democrats>. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your political and campaign advisor? Uh, Jack Lavalle. And his son, Chris. Transportation. Mm -hmm. Tell us your feelings on the possible merger between HART and PSTA, and if you feel that that may lead to a regional transportation taxing authority, as in Atlanta. Um, I'm not opposed to looking at that merger. Um, just to look at it, I haven't seen anything particular. I'm not in favor of, we need to, to undo several transportation taxing authorities, not create more. Um, you know, if you start trying to put Hart versus PSTA, you know, I'm afraid Hillsborough County might decide they need more dollars than we do, so we're not going to play that. Um, I'm, I'm not opposed to studying the merger. I, I think there, there may be some way to at least address that. 
but today I've seen no data, no information. I know Senator Latvala has initiated that, posed that question and got people talking, but so far nothing has come out in the way of legislation or committee testimony on behalf of that. 